one of my most prized possessions is the most unlikely of things. I'd lost it for many a year and had actually put it out of my mind because I was busy. I had ministry and, and life called me ever onward. I had people to visit and sermons to write and meetings to chair and bills to pay and groceries to buy. You know, I had a life to live in all of its glories and in all of its ordinariness. So this one day I went home, I was on annual leave, and my mother pretty much met me at the door with this thing, misshapen, threadbare and stained. And she said, look what I found. I found Winnie. Now Winnie was my childhood teddy bear. Her eyes were long gone, replaced by buttons sold on with childish stitches so that she could still see. The fur had long been rubbed off and her color had faded to some nondescript shade of something or another. But in my eyes, she was still the most beautiful of things because all the adventures rushed back. The trips we took, the secrets we shared, the comfort she offered. The wonder of childhood imagination kept flooding back from this thing of cloth and stuffing, buttons for eyes. This thing had been as real for me as any human ever could be. And in some ways, more real. For as a child, I knew where I stood with her. There were no shifting sands as there could often be in the big world of adulthood, which had been calling me ever onward. The thing is we often give up on imagination as something that's too childlike for proper adults. Maybe we even forget imagination in the daily business of life because we're too busy to do for such things. However, God loves imagination with its power to inspire and comfort and challenge. And God calls us every day to dream dreams and see visions. As we continue in, a, in this Easter season, we are invited to live into reality the things that God dreams. A world of justice. A world where we have learned to share the abundance of creation so that all might share. A world where we care for each and every one with dignity and respect. A world where life is an adventure full of endless opportunities and possibilities. A world where those who are suffering in any of its expressions are comforted and held and hugged with love more than any child with a teddy bear. The light of Easter asks us to imagine such a world. The empty tomb of Jesus Christ says, love, hope, joy, and peace overcome everything that would deny it. There is no injustice, no power, no ruler, nothing more powerful than justice love. Imagine that. Now remember, imagination, the dreaming of dreams and seeing of visions, this is powerful stuff. If it can make cloth and stuffing into a real friend, what else can it do? Didn't somebody far wiser than I once say with God, all things are possible? I'm not saying that's going to be easy. Sometimes our fragile bodies let us down or vested interest tells us that we're merely units of production and that dreaming is not productive at all. But the light of Easter says, that it is in fragile bodies and that it is when others put price on life that we are to embrace dreams and visions and remember 
what is really important. So if you come to the manse, you may see a bedraggled thing which once looked like a child's teddy bear. You may even pass it without a glance. But she is there, a constant reminder to dream, to see, to imagine a time and place that we call the kingdom of God. And that that too is as real as a child climbing mountains with a bear. God bless you.